Violence has erupted in two states as rival rallies clashed in Adelaide and Melbourne. Victorian police were forced to use capsicum spray to hold back the angry mobs, while a heavy police presence in Adelaide wasn't enough to stop punches from being thrown. This fly as the rally turns ugly. <laughs> A heavy contingent of more than 100 police had been working hard to keep the groups apart and keep the peace. But it wasn't long before tensions boiled over between the Reclaim Australia protesters and the anti-racism counter-rally. Just one protester broke through the tightly held police picket and the face-off turned violent. <laughs> Ugly scenes too in Melbourne where police were forced to use capsicum spray to bring thousands of angry protesters under control. <laughs> the riotous scenes breaking out near the Victorian State Parliament. In the aftermath, a nearby side street became a medical centre. Water and milk rinses in high demand. We need somebody down here. We need some water. At least four people were arrested as protesters burnt placards and hurled abuse. But just one arrest in Adelaide, where the same explosive exchanges echoed on our steps of Parliament. What the f did you say, mate? There was similar ugly confrontation seen just three months ago when anti-Islamic and anti-racism protesters faced off in Elder Park. And following the last heated exchange between these two groups today, police weren't taking any chances. These protest groups do have opposing philosophies um, and the things can get heated in the protest environment, but we're, the police are here to make sure the peace is kept. Onlookers dismayed. I appreciate they've all got the right to, to, to protest, but this is not the Australia I came to. The Reclaim Australia supporters have vowed to continue to push their message, promising yet another rally soon. Alice Monfries, Nine News.